Hi everyone, welcome back to Gracie's Garden. So I thought we would do a quick garden tour of just plants that are in bloom. I am in Florida Zone 9B and we're standing here in front of the azalea. It is just a lovely, lovely plant. Everything is in bloom. And it is just beautiful. And let me step back so you can see how big this azalea is. So there it is. And I have the second azalea. My plant table there, but a second azalea there. And these azaleas are probably about 30 years old. I was in the house about 15 years. My grandparents owned the house before me. so, And I believe my grandfather is the one who planted them. So, about 30 years old, maybe a little older. Uh, they're as tall as the porch, the screened-in porch on the back of the house. And yesterday I saw all these hummingbirds over there. They were big hummingbirds, too. I was actually, like, it caught me off guard. I wasn't even sure they were hummingbirds. But um, once they slowed down, I could see that they were. And here's the flowers just up close. Okay, the next plant is a, uh, it was called a mock rose. That's how it was sold to me as, and it, the flowers look like a rose, but they come out like this in these little bunches, these little clusters. And this plant only blooms about once every two or three years. Um, maybe it's supposed to bloom more, but it has not for me. I don't have an official name. I couldn't find anything like it. Um, I did some research and couldn't find anything called a mock rose. But it is vining. Um, it goes... Um, let's see. It goes quite a ways, branches that to the back side of it quite long probably about six foot long I don't have it at any type of trellis I cut it back quite quite harsh this year and it came back and finally bloomed um, the leaves look like this and the flowers are quite pretty and they're very perfumed my aunt has a yellow version of this but this is the white one Like I said, I have a lot of buds on it, and there are a lot of flowers you can see dotted along the way here. The next plant in bloom is this one. I unfortunately couldn't find the name of this. Um, the leaves are very dark green. They kind of have like a reddish, or well, more of a purpley background. And they get these tubular flowers. And it's always at the top of the plant. It's a very long um, trunk plant. And at the top is where the flower comes out. Let me step back and show you how wide or tall this plant is. So there's the house for reference. So they're as tall as the house. And this is about where they top out, about 6 to 12 foot. And these can be used as shrubs. But I've just kind of let them go wild. And I started with one, and it has uh, put out roots for all of these here. This is my little forest of them. And you can see, well, there's one of the chickens there. But you can see here, this is, they're kind of bare at the bottom, don't really get leaves. And then they branch out. And so this one has three branches coming off of it. But if you don't chop them in half, they will just get one branch all the way up. Um, one liter branch, I guess. But if you cut them, they will be bushier, but only towards the top part. And you could really just cut them at the bottom every year and just let them become shrubs. And this is what it looks like before it blooms. Before the, the white flowers come out. And then here is 
a little picture as the white flowers are emerging. And then here are all the flowers. And they're always in these clusters like this. So another plant in bloom is this here. This is a native plant. And they're always in these bunches like this, like a grass. There's some more getting ready to bloom. I think it's called like warthog or something along that line. And like I said, it's a native plant. In the summer when it stops blooming, I just hit it with a lawnmower. But it always comes back and it self-seeds itself. And this is the yellow honeysuckle vine. It's just getting going. I just planted this, but this is the first blooms on it. And I'm hoping it will take over this entire side fence between mine and the neighbor's house. And this is another native plant with these purple tubular flowers. The rabbits like to eat the, the leaves with this, but then it comes out with these beautiful flowers. Another plant is the mother of millions. The mother of millions has leaves like this. And there are quite a few of them in bloom. And the firecracker plant is in bloom, but this is in bloom almost all year round. I've showed this in a lot of past videos. And there's another look at, I think this is called the star tree plant or something along that line with the white flowers. You can see a lot of white flowers up top there. And this is the mimosa tree. This is just getting ready to bloom. So these should uh, flower out in just a few days. So here's one that has some of it just emerging. It's just like a little red pom-pom. Oh, there's another one. So this is a better example of what it will look like. Just a little red pom-pom. Some of them will be more full. And uh, some of them are always kind of sparse like this. But it is what it looks like. See, there's quite a few little uh, buds on it. And there's one that's spent. And through the mimosa tree, you can see all the azaleas. That's a pretty shot. Okay, and here is the bottle brush plant or bottle brush tree. And this is it as it gets ready to bloom and that's what it'll look like. And it gets these very feathery type leaves and they get all pink and feathery. And this will probably bloom, put out um, uh, a runner and then it will bloom. But it always does this really feathery, and they're very soft, fuzzy leaves. And this is supposed to be a hummingbird attractor. And it always blooms around this time of the year. It, the blooms last a long time when they do bloom. Okay, so this is a little section we're going to work on this week. There's just a lot of leaves and debris. And I'm just going to kind of move the pots around, empty some pots. Have a lot of empties containers and a random piece of wood i was going to do something with and just kind of clean this up and also the golden pothos to start to take over the driveway so i'm just going to um, knock it back into the land or the property back here into the front yard really there's some tree branches and things like that and i am going to take out this angel trumpet it is too close to the driveway. We can't park a car here. And I do have some babies off of it. So I'll be able to put those into the backyard. I am going to try to dig it out. So I can transplant it. But we'll see how that goes. So this is just the final look of it. Like I said, this is the driveway. And the plants are just taking over. A lot of debris. I'm just going to kind of clean everything up. So this is the before. Okay, everybody, so it is the next day after uh, the cleanup, and as you can see, it is much better. I knocked the golden pothos back. I just cut it up, and I threw it back into the front yard. 
There was a lot of dirt, debris, empty pots. And the plants just needed a full grooming. A lot of topsoil needed to be topped off on some of the plants where it just kind of, the soil had just dissipated. Um, I did break one pot, which is this one here. As you can see, a little chunk taken out of it. I do have the piece, so I'm just going to cement glue it back together. And it's just a lot more open space. Just a better walkthrough on everything. And I did cut back the angel trumpet that was right here. I did I do have one branch left of it, but everything else has been cut back there. I didn't. I did prop, try to propagate some more of the branches off of it, but but I decided to just do away with it and cut it back hard. Here is the night blooming cacti. Look at this euphorbia. Look how wide that is. It was underneath the angel trumpet and it is probably four foot wide from all the way there to here. It is really gigantic. The Buddha belly is in bloom. And this here is the crown of thorns and it's leaning so bad because it was under something else. And was able to free up some spots on the bench. I'll show you a plant that I took off there in a minute. Then have the little vegetable garden here. It just has some green onions in it, parsley, and lettuce that has bolted, as you can see there. It is getting ready to bloom. And these are the trees, um, the triangular triangula and the fig tree and then I'm going to put the key lime tree back in here the wild spinach so a lot cleaner neater a lot of debris I filled a whole trash can with just leaves and trash and a McDonald's cup was in there wasn't mine so and I found about 42 cents in change which is I'm not quite sure how that happened but it was uh, in there. And let me show you one of the plants that we're going to have to repot up next week. So this is the whale fin plant that was back on that little black shelf that's back there. So it's doing great, but it uh, needed more space and busted out of the bottom of the plant, of the pot. It's just a plastic pot. So I'm going to have to just snip that. Yeah, it's taking the whole bottom off of it. So, um, it is going quite crazy. So, just going to have to repot that next week. And it is covered in ants. So, I'm going to just leave it out here in the rain. Hopefully, it will douse all the ants out of it. And then, we're just going to have to cut up the plant, the pot and um, repot this. And probably snip that part off. And maybe put it in its own basket. But, it is doing well. There was actually a pothos, a golden pothos, attached to this and just climbing up it like it is a trellis. So I am, I just had to pull that off of there. I did keep quite a few of the golden pothos clippings. Um, so I try to pop those up and propagate them into a nice large basket. But um, yeah, just try to give it some. I don't think I have any golden pothos in a plant pot just in the garden in the front yard so yeah that is it nice cleaned up tidy um, next week we are going to work on this so this is the other side of the driveway and this is just a catch-all of plants and pots debris I have a barbecue up there that needs to be thrown out so it's just a lot of debris in the front part of the garden. This is kind of just like my catch-all before the garage for some reason. So I'm just try to get it straightened up and tidy. So that is next week's plan. If you remember back here is where we did the table for the African violets. And then there is the, behind the trash can, is the cactus shelf. So this is what we'll work on next week. We have some arrowhead vines 
that are just kind of taking over. So you try to get maybe a trellis or a pole or something to put those on. They're just going all over the place. So the golden pothos that were taken over on the other side had arrowhead taken over on this side. All right, everyone, that is it. Just show you the pansies and flu bloom. Look at them. They're doing so well. All right, so that is it. I'll see you all in next week's video. And please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And also, if you guys have any ideas for these stones, they're the ones that have the hole in the middle, and they're about a foot wide and about a foot tall. Um, there's two stacked on top of each other there. But if you have any ideas, please just let me know. I don't know what to quite do with them. Just comment down below. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.